this is divinely given to me to give you the message and you do with it what you want. I want you to begin to understand, to make sense of what is going on. This is for the person who's just about to cut their sister locks off, their micro locks, their braid locks, their locks that they've been retightening every four to six weeks on a regimented basis or every seven weeks, eight weeks on a regimented basis and have done what they were told because they just wanted to have the best locks ever. When we first decided we wanted to lock our hair, why did we decide we wanted to lock our hair? Why did we decide we wanted to lock our hair in small size locks? And at the time, sister locks made sense. Please remember when I share this, I'm sharing you this knowledge with you on the basis of 20 years of sister locks, my sister locks experience. Like 20 years ago, I discovered sister locks. And when I discovered sister locks, no grid was discussed. I didn't know I had a grid on my head. Interlocking wasn't a word that existed. So the grid and interlocking only exists because social media forced the information out. Sister Locks was not going to divulge the information, right? So what I saw was black women with small size locks, which I never knew was possible, and it looked like extensions. And so that's what I wanted. The technical bit, the fact that it's been interlocked, which is backward braiding of Afro hair with a tool, the fact that there's a grid didn't didn't mean anything to me because that was not discussed. I had a consultation and I had the classic DVD with like, I, I mean, I had that, <laughs> the Janet Jackson look, um, very dated. I had all of that, but I was in love. I was in love with Dr. Conwell and the fact that she gave us this gift. I can have extension like hairstyle that's my hair when we decide to lock let's forget the name of the locks let's forget even the fact that it's small size locks it might be medium size locks but obviously i'm speaking to the small size locks people so pay attention to this message when we decided to lock we decided because of all the hairstyles that was pulling the burning of the perm the heaviness of the braids right? The, even the combing our natural hair was becoming torturous and we didn't know what to do with our natural hair. The heat on our head, we were done. We were tired. And so when we came across the idea of locks and sister locks, sister locks made so much sense. But fundamentally, the reason why we decided to choose to sister lock our hair was because we thought it would grow our hair. We thought our hair would thrive with sister locks because there wasn't, how it was sold to me, it wasn't, I mean, I'm talking about 20 years ago. So there wasn't going to be much disturbance. Your hair was just going to be full and thrive, right? I actually only understood retightenings after I had sister locks that I was supposed to go every six weeks. Mo nothing much was shown. It was just more of a vision and a lifestyle. It was very at the time, like you guys are lucky. You like, you can watch this video. You can watch other people's posts and shares and you can get a real, like you can deep dive into sister locks properly. But with my time, it was just a blog or few blogs with people n stating the number of, of, of locks they had on their head. And that's all there was. But you guys have the opportunity to, to properly research. When, when I, when I dis decided to have sister locks, it was literally on the basis of me just seeing it and wanting it and not understanding the details of it. Here we go. Here's the details of what we were trying to do, right? What we were trying to do was to just have a hairstyle that reflected our identity. Locks made sense. I'm black. I have African texture hair. And you just want your hair to be left alone because of the historical terrible hairstyles we've, we've allowed on our heads. We just want it to rest, right? So we choose locks. We choose locks because we know our hair would thrive. And then what's happening is when you choose small size locks or you choose the wrong person to place the lock on your hair and re, and, and cultivate your lock and relock your hair and retighten your hair your hair starts going and you wonder, what did I do? Because I obeyed all instructions. I turned up when I was supposed to turn up. 
I didn't put my hair in or much oil or much water and still my hair isn't thriving. And what we are missing is the fact that actually nature changes. We, we're all changing. And so your strands are changing whilst in locks. We don't know that your strands change whilst in locks because you're aging. Strands getting much more looser curled, not as tightly curled when we were younger. Strands get thinner. Um, and because the strands get thinner, the way you handle the locks has to be in a much more delicate way. So therefore, if you think the con think about the concept of retightening where your hair is being, it's just been threaded through that growth, right? It makes sense why the locks get thin. The base can't carry the rest of the lock, right? Knotted locks exist because it has to replace what sister locks is doing. Because what sister locks is doing, and I'm referring to the people who sit in my chair, is their locks are being thinned out. And what knotted locks gives you is your hair back to you. Slightly damaged as a result of the retightenings, but still it's about choice. So when I convert a sister locks wearer to knotted locks, I'm converting you so you have freedom of choice. Because freedom of choice is beautiful. When you see somebody knotted locks, it's freedom of choice. So you do not have a right to criticize their hair or make a comment because it's new freedom of choice with small size locks. So we're all adjusting, we're all learning. So when a client sits in my chair and I'm knotting their hair, I'm adjusting my hand to what I see. So if I see stress, if I see natural thinning, I create knots to adapt to that situation live. So every time I create a knot, it's a response to what is presently happening. And that is what I teach. And to teach you that properly, we have to go on a one-to-one. -one. I see you, I know you, I understand you. Because I need you to understand that you need to adapt. That's the piece that's missing when we have our small size locks with locks. People are just locking your hair. You're, you're sitting there and your hair's being locked. But they're not updating their methodology. There is a tweak and a change. It's subtle, but it's love. And that's why we choose locks. But we don't understand that. Not everyone understands that they need to adapt. When they place the lock on your head or they're relocking your hair, they're relocking for locks. They're not relocking you to celebrate your hair texture. They're retightening you for the retightening hairstyle. And what knotted locks gives you is the opportunity to celebrate your African texture hair whilst keeping it healthily separated. And healthily separated means not pulling, respecting what the strand is telling you and responding to what the strand is telling you. That is what the love is. That is what the thriving gives you is when you stop and you slow down and you pay attention. So that's what I give my clients when they sit in the chair. I stop, I slow down, I understand. Yes, they like locks. They like locks and they want the small size locks. But what's the reason why they want the small size locks? It's for dignity, it's for identity, it's for celebration of their African texture hair. It is for serenity, it is for pride. That's why they chose the small size locks. So that's what I need to give to them when they're sitting in the chair. So that's why when I do my consultation, your vision for your hair is really important. Your lock story is really important because that ties into how I teach you understanding what you want. And there's something really powerful when it's a two-way relationship. I give you back the gift of the information you give me from a place of deep, deep love and understanding that I am you and you are me. And I want the same thing. And just because I've exercised freedom of choice with my hair, with knotted locks, my hair's never been so full. My hair has never been so full. Let me take it down and show you my hair. So the message is this. When you choose to lock, really, the lock is supposed to celebrate your texture. It's supposed to celebrate your hair, right? But your hair is not supposed to be there to showcase locks, to showcase sister locks. It's not. 
It is supposed to showcase what you have, the texture you have, the density you have. It's supposed to help show you how to thrive, not be depleted. Does this make sense? So that's what knotted locks is replacing. Knotted locks is replacing you show using your hair to showcase a grid, a hairstyle. And actually knotted locks is about showcasing you and your hair. Now, when you ask the question, I want to see what knotted looks, looks, looks like on someone's head. I can't give you that information because every time I knot, I knot in present day and I'm responding to maybe someone's stress, estrogen level, the fact that their hair is getting slightly thinner as a result of age. I am adapting every time. And so that's what you see is a translation of a relationship of total respect and understanding. How that shows up, it shows up. When I start someone's hair with knotted locks, I do not know what's going to happen. When I touch someone's hair, I do not know. We discover together. And that's so exciting. That's super exciting. That's what knotted locks gives you. Knotted locks gives you a space to step back and observe and go, wow, my hair's like this. You know, after three, four months, you sit in the chair and you're like, oh, I discovered this and I discovered that. Or you're learning to lock your hair with knotted locks and you're like, oh my God, my locks are like this. My strands are like this. My hair behaves like this with the knots. It is an adventure and it is always positive and a celebration of your African texture hair. So understand that. That if your hair is depleting, it's because you're serving a lock look and you're not serving your hair. And that person is not intelligent enough. They do not have the knowledge and the self-confidence to adapt to what your hair needs. Locks, future, small size locks, needs to adapt to what your African texture hair needs. And then once you that hand adapts, and respects instead of arguing back and trying to get the hair into the grid that doesn't it doesn't want to, you will find your hair will flourish. I hope this message makes sense to you, and I hope it's helped save somebody's hair. It's about your hair and not about the locks. That's what it's about when you lock your hair. It's about your hair and not the locks. So if your hair says, I don't want to do relocking today, I don't want to be retightened today, obey instructions. <laughs>